know I'm Tom Bot, know I'm Tom Bot, know I'm Tom Bot. This your boy Big Ratchet from Ratchet TV. Yeah, you know me as Ratchet TV, the hood's journalist, but this is my TikTok. And maybe you've been living under a rock and haven't heard the Mahogany Jackson case, but uh, let me tell y'all, this case is loose AF. This is one of the strangest cases I've ever I've ever covered on YouTube since I've been doing any cases. This case is bizarre, strange, and the layers to this, it's like the rabbit hole just goes really deep. Now, the more you dig into this case, and yes, this is about the Mahogany Jackson case, but this is concerning another case. Now, as I say, the more you dig into the Mahogany Jackson case, you start to peel back a few layers. Now, Blue and Vito, Blue is being the girl who allegedly plotted this whole thing and set the whole play up. Blue's been doing a lot of talking. Her stories have not been added up, adding up, excuse me. And I've been in contact with a few people who know Blue personally, and they're ready to expose her and do a tell-all on her. So be tuned for that. That's coming soon. But more concerning the Mahogany Jackson case is Blue's connection into Vito. Now, Vito is a street dude out there in Alabama who has ties to a few other bodies. The mayor of Birmingham's nephew or son, I think, I think it was nephew. But yeah, the nephew of the mayor, he, he allegedly unalived. And there was also a little girl by the name of Cupcake who he has some dealings with. And he's also been putting hits out on people online, which further proves my point. Then maybe he had something to do with the kidnapping and unaliving of Mahogany Jackson. And maybe he knows more than what he's saying because those videos were sent to him. His stepbrother was one of the people who uh, got oil from Mahogany. The guy that, that, w that was on the video that the cops said they saw uh, forcing to get oil on was... Blair Green, which is Vito's stepbrother, and Vito had ties to the people in jail to assault these people. Vito also had ties on the streets to get these videos from these people. He well, he was selling the videos like this was the dark web. He was auctioning out uh, the unaliving video of Mahogany Jackson, which further proves that this dude did have something to do with this cupcake situation. Now, I have some videos that I'm about to present to y'all in just a minute. I'm going to play some recordings, as a matter of fact. And I want y'all to pay close attention to these recordings because this sounds like a confession. Now, him and these people, well, the people, I mean, Cupcake and her people, they were connected. This is just like the Mahogany Jackson case, and he's been doing similar tactics in similar cases. So... I want y'all to listen to this uh, audio that I have on Vito and them discussing the cupcake allegations that were spewing all over the Internet. And they didn't want people to find out about this. They didn't want anyone getting blamed for it. And the person who got blamed, they just wanted him to take the fall and end up getting knocked off. This just further proves my point on this Vito character. He is not to be trusted in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You cannot trust this Vito dude. Keep your eyes on him, and allegedly this dude will be going to jail really soon. Involving, uh, maybe not involving the Mahogany Jackson case, but maybe indirectly or directly. We'll see. But it's some things to come with this guy, because he was committing crimes by holding the Mahogany Jackson footage away from law enforcement and selling it and auctioning it online anyway. So I do believe that this man will have some charges coming down on him real soon. But I want y'all to listen to these confessions of the cupcake on the by Vito and Cupcake's family. Y'all pay close attention to this, man. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll have more like this coming for you real soon. It's your boy, Big Ratchet. I love y'all. I'm out, gang. He was in Montgomery and they had to come pick him up from Montgomery. I would have gave a fuck who called who. Like we said, they go over there. Yeah, because the, the feds got me first. And they tell, tell no one the way he is. Who they is you. Man, you had, well, I okay. wasn't in the room when, 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 when he made that wrong, but I ain't hear nobody come back and say he dogged you out. I mean, he I don't know. Oh, I'm saying names, bro. Yes, he did. That man ain't gonna lie. They, they, they done told me.
we had things, but y'all think I'm really sitting here stupid, and I'm just playing yeah, like I don't said, know. I wasn't in the wall. But, but, but trust, I know everything y'all always did. I don't know if y'all came back and said he was in there dog the wall, so I don't know. They gonna come out? All I know was, was that he was definitely saying no dad had something to do with his baby then. Oh, well, I got in it then. Well, he told the feds we had no one, so he keeps saying no one, and that means he was talking about me too. Because the feds didn't say your name. He didn't have to say my name. He didn't have to say my name. He didn't have to say my name. Shit at all. 